Hello everyone, this is Arduino Temperature Monitor project. In this project, we are going to use THT11 sensor and Arduino. Before going into the project, let's know briefly about DHT11. DHT11 is a digital temperature and humidity sensor that contains calibrated sig digital signal output of temperature and humidity. Is, it is connected with a high performance 8 bit microcontroller and it has three pins VCC, ground, and data. Its humidity measurement range is 20 to 90 percent RH. Temperature measurement range is 0 to 60 degrees Celsius. Output digital signals indicating temperature and humidity. Temperature measurement accuracy is plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. Humidity measurement accuracy is plus or minus 5% RH. It works at voltage of 5 volts. It is reliable, cheap and long term has long term stability. There is also DH22 which is more expensive version of the same DH11 with a better humidity ranging measuring ranging from 0 to 100 percent with 2 to 5 percent accuracy while it while the DHT 11 has 20 to 80 percent with 5 percent accuracy mm. DHT 22 can measure from minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius with 0 0.5 degrees Celsius as accuracy and its operating voltage is same as DHT 11 that is 3 to 5 volts and uh, Maximum current during measuring is also same as DHT11 that is 2.5 milliamps. Coming to the hardware circuit, DHT11 has three pins VCC, ground, and data pin. VCC of DHT11 is connected to 5 volts of Arduino pin using the red jumpo wire and ground is connected to Arduino ground pin with black jumper wire and data terminal is connected to two second pin that is digital second pin of Arduino board using blue jumper wire coming to the connections DHT11 has three pins that is VCC data and ground VCC is connected that is rightmost is connected to 5 volts of uh, Arduino and ground of Arduino is connected using jumper wire and leftmost is the ground and the middle brown jumper wire is data is connected to second pin this is the hardware connections coming to the explanation uh, I'm connecting my Arduino board to PC and I'm dumping my code into the Arduino board The code is successfully uploaded. Now I am going to open serial monitor on my laptop at the top right corner and see the output. Now the temperature is 33.70 degrees Celsius and in the Fahrenheit it's 92.84 degree Fahrenheit this is my present room temperature coming to the code 
we have to install or include the library of DHT. So to do that, we have to go to sketch, include library, manage library, search for DHT. Install DHT sensor library by Adafruit. It provides DHT level, DHT22, etc. temperature and humidity sensors. So I have already installed it. Coming to the code, I am including DHT which I have already installed and I am defining second pin that is D2 of Arduino is connected to data pin. So I am, I am declaring or defining DHT pin as to and as I am using DHT11, I am declaring DHT type as sorry, defining DHT type as DHT11. If you are using DHT22, you can do the same. It is a DHT function with DHT pin and DHT type as variable, and it, I am giving it to this is of DHT type. In the setup, I am using begin function which comes to this loop with 2 milliseconds sorry 2000 second milliseconds that is 2 seconds as measurement gap here read temperature is a main function of DHT library which is used to measure the temperature of the room in degree Celsius and I am storing this in T of type variable so, sorry type float and if you want to read the temperature in Fahrenheit you have to use just use same read temperature and use true which makes the output in the for in the values of Fahrenheit so I am seeing both the values so I am storing this value in the F which is a float data type if both the values are not an integer not an integer then I am showing it has failed to read from DHT sensor or else if it's not then I'm showing the percentage temperature with T and its unit size degree Celsius and percentage F shows Fahrenheit so yeah now it shows with units Coming to is NAN function, is NAN function is a checks whether the given value that is T in this case it's whether a number or not. NAN stands for not an in number, not a number. So it checks whether it's a number or not. If it's not, then it's is NAN is true which represents it does not or fail to read from DHT sensor you can find this code in the description this is my project and